But first, on this Tuesday, to those messages of hate found inside a Suffolk school. News 12 Long Island's Caroline Flynn is in Oakdale for us with more on that disturbing discovery. Yes, thank you. You know, this is over at Connect Quad High School, inside of the high school. And I do want to, of course, start with our latest information into our newsroom. We heard from the school board president there, who, like so many we spoke to today, reinforced that zero tolerance for hate messages, any issue of hate in the schools, and also said that she's hoping that this will be a time where parents talk with their kids about the consequences of writing such. Investigators with the Hate Crimes Division of Suffolk Police are looking into two separate incidents inside Connecticut High School last week. Anti-LGBTQ graffiti was found on a hallway wall, and you can see here on an LGBT network ally poster that hung on a classroom door. This sticker is simply a symbol of being a safe space for our kids. Kilnick said he was sent the photo of the poster by concerned members of the school community. This is a hate incident. It's trying to send a message to the LGBTQ kids and to the teachers in the school. Um, do not come out. You're not welcome here. This is not a safe space for you. Students were off today for winter break, but parents we spoke to near the high school said derogatory messages about any person or group is just simply not okay. It's absolutely disgusting. Listen, if you don't agree with it, just keep it to yourself. That's it. Plain and simple. The school district said in a statement, Connecticut Central School District is a place of no hate and this act of hateful vandalism will not be tolerated. Kilnick said students and parents he's worked with in the district have a tough time believing that though, as these two incidents come on the heels of another involving the LGBTQ community at Connecticut High School. In the fall, a teacher was told by the district to take down a progress pride flag as educators are not to get involved in political activities on school grounds. Every place should be a safe place and there's no place for hate. And you know that 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 no place for hate. Some people will say that, um, but what you do about it is really important. The district closed out their statement by saying mental health professionals will be available to staff and students when they return on February 27th. And the LGBT network said it's also important that the school have further training when it comes to the LGBTQ community and issues surrounding it. They said they actually offered to help with that, but they have not been asked to do so. Another thing they said is just making sure that the person or persons responsible for these hateful comments is found. And of course, the district and Suffolk police are asking anyone with information that could lead to that happening to please get in touch with them. Back to you in the studio, though, for now.